Hi everyone. Today I'm going to experiment making a focaccia in a different sort of manner to what I'm used to and I'm going to share it with you. First of all we'll be making our focaccia out of baker's flour, yeast, salt, water and some olive oil. So first of all we'll weigh up our ingredients. I'll start with just 250 grams of the baker's flour. It has to be a strong flour. By strong I mean it has higher protein level than standard flour. 250 grams of that. Need salt. Just got some cooking salt here. I'll add 2% of the weight to that. So that'll be 5 grams. A dry mix. Same amount in yeast. Dry mix. Zero. Let's get the oil. Now I usually add the same amount of oil. a bit of a mix through. Now to this I'm going to add 60% 60, 60 in water. Okay, that's usually what we add to baker's flour in most recipes. Around 60%, I'm just getting a water jug. So 60% of 250 grams is around 150 milliliters. So just fully add 150 milliliters. Done. Get my dough hook. I'm just going to mix this on a slow speed until all the ingredients are combined. So I'm just hydrating at the moment, I'll give you a look. So all we're doing here, just on low speed, until it all comes together. Okay, now that it's combined. We can ramp up the speed. I put it on the third gear, so it's all hydrated now. Ramp up the speed. And then we can mix this until the dough is developed. See you there. Now occasionally we will have to check the dough to see if it is developed. To do this simply I'll just uh, turn the machine off, pull out the dough and we'll stretch it or a piece of it, we'll just take a piece. Now you should almost get it to be what is known as a clear. You see that there? It's still breaking a little bit. It's not too bad. We'll give it another couple of minutes and it should be ready. Now the dough's been mixing for quite some time now, nearly 10 minutes. Just 
turn the machine off. Feels nice. Take a piece, we'll test the development. It's looking, it's looking good. Okay. Check the temperature. Looking for about 28 degrees. Yeah, that's acceptable. It's about 27. Okay, now, simply what I'm going to do, instead of bulk fermenting this dough or leaving it rest till it doubles in size in a bowl covered, I'm just going to roll it up into a round ball and place it on my sheet of paper. Okay. So, I have my shapers around, but it traditionally focaccia will be flat. So, I'll give it a little bit of a push out. This is all experimental. I'll cover this now just with a, uh, a tea towel. And I'll come back in okay. half an hour. Half an hour has passed now. I'll just uh, do a bit of a knock back and uh, make it a bit more flat. Just use your fingers, that's how you like the focaccia, okay. Now, usually this would be the time when you punch your dough back and you scale it up into the individual pieces. but. I seem to have eliminated that and we'll see how we go in about 20 minutes. So we'll come back in 20 and I'll repeat this process. So now a half an hour has passed, not the 20 minutes. I left it for half an hour. And we'll just do another knock back with our fingers. And that should be about the last time I'll do that. I'll just let it rest now for about 30 to 40 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, now for the topping of the focaccia, I'm going to make a garlic wash. And in the garlic wash, it'll be the olive oil, some minced garlic, as well as some mixed herbs. So all I'll do is that, adding just a little bit of olive oil there. Yeah. I'll add a teaspoon or half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of uh, minced garlic. And I'll also add some mixed herbs. Too much. Just to flavour the oil slightly. Let's use this spoon again to just mix it round. It's now been just over an hour and I'm pretty happy with the uh, the results so far, we have a look. It's just about fully proved to the uh, the height or the size that I would like this. Bit of a look there. Now I'm going to get that wash that I made earlier, and I'll just uh, I'll just wash or brush over. This garlic wash. Just over the surface. Don't forget the edges. Beautiful. OK. 
Okay. So, after I've put the uh, the wash on, I'll just add a little bit more herb on top. There we go. There's one focaccia ready for the oven. Okay, now I have preheated the oven at 250. It's almost there, but that's not the baking temperature we want. I'll, I'll turn the temperature down to about 200, 210. My oven's a little hot, so I'll set it to 200. And we'll bake that for... We'll look at it after about 15 minutes and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to put the focaccia in the oven. It's preheated thereabouts. Now, we're going to need steam in the oven, so I've got about a cup of water here. So, once we open the oven, and place the focaccia in about the middle of the oven. Pour this water on the base. I've got a bit of a trough down there that'll create a bit of steam. And give you a nice shine. Okay, 15 minutes is up. I might go and see what it looks like. As you can see, we've got a nice golden crust, nice shine. Now what I'll do, I'll add that garlic wash again, to give it that nice shine after baking. And there you have it, my experimental focaccia.